What is up, everybody? This is my third video of the day. Check out my channel for the other two videos. Once again, happy Memorial Day. Thank you to the troops. I did these videos because I needed some content on my channel. And um, I just, it's been a while, so. And I plug my other projects in the other video, so I'll do it here too. What did we just watch? It's a movie podcast with me and a couple friends. And then we also do another podcast called the Random Ass Podcast. You can find them all on Not Your Puppets Entertainment on YouTube or Twitter. So, enough of that. I've done these three videos because I originally wanted to do just this video. And then I got to making lists and I wanted to do a movie list and I wanted to do a band list. But this was my original idea because it's one of the most controversial videos that I could ever do because it is my personal most overrated bands and most underrated bands. And it's roughly 10 of them each. And it is 10 of them each. And um, I have a very non-typical taste in rock and metal. And a lot of the bands that everybody fucking worships, I can't stand. And I just want to make a video getting that out there, facing the music, per se. And uh, whatever you guys think about it, you're, I'm sure it'll piss some of you off. But, you know, this is my opinion. And um, I want to make it known that not everybody likes everything. And some of these overrated bands are not necessarily bad bands. I just don't get anything from them. I don't get the feeling that others seem to get. And my most underrated bands are bands that I feel like should be so, more, so much more popular. But they just can't quite reach that pinnacle of where I feel they need to be. But, um, you know, that's just the way it goes. And it's it's very subjective. I'm very biased as always. But, you know, music is my most favorite thing. And I've thought long and hard about this list. And I really wanted to make it. But I will do my most underrated bands first. Because it's a lot less controversial. These aren't rated in any particular order. I'm not doing a 10 to 1 or most overrated band, most underrated band. So, these are just 10 bands that I feel are equally underrated, okay? So, first one I've got is Offspring. Uh, they've been around forever. They, you know, I can't really think of one great album that they've done, but they have a collection of some really great songs. And um, it's... they've You've got to have some sort of following to last as long as they have. But I feel like they've never became that band. You know, back in the Americana days, they were really popular, but you don't really hear anybody talk about them anymore. But every time I hear a song by them, I genuinely like it. So I think they're a very underrated band, and they never quite reached the success level that, you know, I feel they could have, you know. So I'm, I'm going to go with Offspring right there. Uh, another band is Clutch. Uh, one of my buddies got me into this band a few years ago. They've been around forever. They're a very distinct sounding band and a very unique band. And I love listening to them. They put me in a good mood. And uh, I can just, anytime I'm feeling kind of down or whatever, I can throw in some clutch. And it just instantly puts me in a better mood. I love the band. I love pretty much every record they've ever done. And they're a very good band. And, and I feel like they should be more popular. And, they, you know, they probably don't care to be more popular. But uh, I feel like they should be more popular. And I really enjoy them. So, anyway, Clutch, another underrated band. Next is Hurt. Uh, they Every record they have made is outstanding. And I feel like nobody else knows who they are. <laughs> and maybe I'm just not looking in the right communities of, of rock fans. But, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of them when I first heard them with, like, Volume 1. I liked Rapture, of course. But 
as I've gotten older, I've grown to appreciate their musical stylings. Their lead singer is a very talented singer, and he's a very, very talented songwriter. So, Summer's Lost is one of my favorite rock songs of all time. It's on Volume 2 by Hurt. and uh, But they're a very underrated band. So, Hurt. We're going to go with Tesseract next. They are one of the most talented bands I've ever heard in my entire life. I just recently became a fan of those guys. I'm late to the party with Tesseract, but I feel like they deserve to be playing much bigger shows than they do. The talent level of this band, I would put against any other band. And, you know, musically, the singing talent, the songwriting talent, just th that band is amazing. So, Tesseract, another underrated band. My next one is Smile Empty Soul. They've been doing it forever. They've been one of my favorite bands forever. Just released another album this week. It is wonderful. They, you know, they hit they hit with Bottom of a Bottle and then kind of fell off the planet. But they've still constantly been making great albums. So, I don't know. They just, they haven't reached the success level I feel like they should. And, um, you know, give them a listen. Listen to their music, man. They, they, Sean Danielson is such a talented songwriter. Great band. Smile like soul. Um, Story of the Year. Another band still releasing music, you know, from my... These are like my high school band days. But, uh, you know, every CD they put out is good. They, they're consistently good. Story of the Year. They're a great live band. And uh, they just recently put out another album that's really good. And they just never quite broke like some of these other bands. And I just wish they would, man. Story of the Year, another great band. Probably if I had to put a number one on here, it would be Seven Dust. Uh, they're my next band. They are highly oh, underrated. And um, every album they put out is great. They just released another album. And that, you know, everyone needs to be talking about. But they don't. And uh, they're just so consistent. And, you know, LeJohn Witherspoon is a great songwriter. And the whole band is just super talented. And they deserve more. They deserve more everything. They deserve to be playing arenas more than they do. They deserve to be headlining arenas. Seven Dust is a great band. So, anyway. Another band is Carnival from Australia. Uh, they're a little, a lot lesser known. I think they should, they're very well known in Australia, but they need to be more well known over here. Um, they're a very eclectic sounding band. They're not your normal rock band. They're a little more in the Tesseract vein, I guess, than they are hard rock. But I love their songs. I love how different they are. And I love their song structure. And it's just so catchy and makes you think. And I just, they're really entertaining to listen to. So Carnival from Australia. Check those guys out. Next one is Gojira. And they are very prevalent in the metal community. But not so much in the world like I feel they should be. And Gojira is a very talented band i can't even put it into words how talented they are you know the brothers the singer and the drummer they are so fucking talented and the sounds that they get out of their instruments is just second to none and they're one of my favorite bands in the world and i just i feel like they should be more well known and you know have more than just respect from people they deserve the money and the fame that come with being one of the best metal bands of our generation and um, I feel like they are severely underrated because they should be playing shows in arenas. And, you know, they play huge festivals and stuff, but they, they deserve to be bigger over here. So the last band is Testament. I'll get into this more in my overrated bands. But uh, I feel Testament is one of the most underrated and underappreciated bands, especially because they're not in the big four. And I like them way better than three of the four big four so you know i like them better than megadeth even i feel megadeth deserves to be there but i just i feel testament deserved to be there too they're an amazing band uh great thrash band they still release good music and um they just never quite reached that peak that you know the big four did but testament is a great band in my opinion 
And that concludes my underrated bands. So now I'm going to go to overrated bands, and this is going to piss people off. I don't care. You know, these, these are very popular bands that I just don't get. I don't understand how they make people feel the way they make them feel. And, you know, more power to you if you like them. I'm sure a lot of people do, because these are some big heavy hitters in the rock and metal community, man. But, uh... These are bands I just don't understand their popularity, and they don't speak to me at all. And I just can't really listen to a lot of their stuff. And, it, you know, it just bothers me. But, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm going to just throw it out there and see what happens. If I piss you off, I piss you off. But here are my most overrated bands in rock and metal, okay? Starting off with Nine Inch Nails, I, I don't think I like a single song I've ever heard by them. I don't understand how, I, I, you know, Trent Reznor is looked at as like a god, and that's fine, and for what they do, I guess they're good, but, you know, I like Marilyn Manson, okay, and I like Rob Zombie, the shock rock guys, and, but, uh, for some reason, I just can't get into Nine Inch Nails. I don't understand it. I've tried I've, I've tried to listen to their music and get what people get from it, but I I get nothing from it. So, Nine Inch Nails, my first one. Um, Five Finger Death Punch. I, I think they're very much hated, but they're literally the Limp Biscuit of this generation because their fans have put them on this level of status where they're playing arenas singing about the dumbest shit that has ever been written since Limp Biscuit. Like their their lyrics are so cheesy and you know, their covers are okay that they do, but as far as their original songs, I can't get it. It's it's all just like bro workout metal and shit and I don't understand it. This new album is just as bad as the rest of them. You know, their first couple CDs were tolerable, but I don't understand how they can be playing arenas with the the bullshit that they put out so sorry i hate it and you know people say they hate them all the time but they're still open they're opening arenas so you got to respect that just like limp biscuit was back in the day but uh i don't get the five finger death punch love at all um this one is gonna piss so many people off and i put them together tool in a perfect circle i prefer a perfect circle over tool Tool has, I could probably listen to a Tool Greatest Hits CD and be okay with it. I like it. But I don't understand why they are just worshipped like they are. Maynard is a great singer. But literally half of their albums I've listened to have mostly like chanting and you can't decipher the words. And then they'll have a good song. But then it's like 60 more minutes of just weird shit and... You know, the songs they put out that are actually songs are enjoyable. But then, you know, A Perfect Circle is okay. and But they have more good songs than Tool, in my opinion. But I still don't understand the level that they're on. And that new city they put out is garbage, in my opinion. So, you know, this is just me finally saying what I want to say about all these bands that everybody loves. I don't understand the Tool and A Perfect Circle love. I get that he's a super talented guy and that they are a super talented band. But, you know, how much coverage they get for making their fans wait as long as they have for a new record is ridiculous. So, you know, I just don't, there's no way it'll be worth the wait. And it can't be. There's there's no way. But I've listened to every Tool album and I just, I come away underwhelmed and under uh, unimpressed. I mean, they have a few good songs, but other than that, I don't get it. And that's what this list is about. Shit I don't understand. So... Uh, the next one's ACDC. You know, every damn ACDC song sounds exactly the same. A couple of their older ones I do enjoy. But as far as them being looked at as one of the best rock bands of all time, I think they just came along at the right time. And their audience, they, they, they know who their audience is. And, um, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But every one of their songs sounds the same. You know, Angus Young can play a solo but it's other than that man i don't get the riffs i don't get into their music it's not my thing so uh another one was led zeppelin <laughs> that's why i also i wanted to make this list man it, it, i respect them and they have a couple great songs 
but I've listened to entire albums of them where I'm just like, I don't understand this at all. Like, I don't like it. I don't like his voice. Uh, you know, maybe it's not for me, but that, you know, that these bands are why this, this video was made and you know, not, a, not a lot of people are going to watch it, but I hope this pisses you off. I hope we could get in some dialogue back and forth and explain to me just why you like Led Zeppelin so much. Do you just love Stairway to Heaven and Black Dog or do you really like like a lot of their songs? Because I, I don't get it. But next one's U2. I don't like them at all. They're like, they play to these 100,000 seat show, sold out shows. I don't get it. I, I don't, I've never heard a song by U2 that I like and I've listened to a lot of them. I just don't get it. Bono seems like a fucking douche to me. Um, I don't understand the U2 love at all. Next one's Kiss. You know, they've openly... They're a lot to me like ACDC. But they've, they've openly said they don't... They never knew how to play their instruments, really. So I feel like they came along at the right time. And... I just... You know, they, they have an audience. And our audience has propelled them to the status they're at. Gene Simmons is a complete fucking jerk. I can't stand anything I hear that he says. But I've literally never heard a Kiss song that I like. I don't understand them. I don't understand the love for them. And I never will. But a lot of people say that about Metallica as well. So, But now, you know, this is my list. So, Anyway, Kiss. One of the most overrated bands of all time. My last two here. I'm going to go with Anthrax, who I don't think belongs in the big four at all. I've never heard a song by them I like, and I do love thrash metal, and I do not like them whatsoever. Um, I don't think they belong in the big four. Testament is easily more enjoyable to my ears than Anthrax, and, um, you know, I, I don't get it. I wish someone would explain to me the deal with Anthrax. I, I don't understand that. And uh, that's about all I have to say about Anthrax. I don't I don't know enough about them to to really bash them. But uh, I just don't get it. I've never heard a song or I'm like, hell yeah, man, that's a banger. No, no, it doesn't happen. The last band is luckily retiring now. And this is one of the bands that everyone feels I should like. Kind of like Led Zeppelin because of who I'm fans of. But uh, Slayer... Uh, yeah, I said Slayer, and um, I don't like Rain and Blood. I don't like anything I've ever heard by them. I feel like every single fucking song they've ever made sounds exactly the fucking same. And, you know, they bash on Metallica for changing their sounds and shit, but Slayer has literally made the same songs for 30 fucking years, 30 plus years. They're terrible live. And, you know, Kerry King, I've never, you know, he just plays fast. But, you know, there's no, like, technicality and riffage. Like, it, I don't know, man. I don't get it. I, I've, I've tried. I, I'd love to be a Slayer fan and wear a Slayer shirt and, you know. But um, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I guess they do deserve to be in the Big Four just by fan support alone. And, you know, and they did mean a lot. Rain and Blood is a very essential record to the heavier side of thrash just because i don't get it don't mean they don't deserve to be there so i i will say they deserve to be there i don't think anthrax does testament is a much better band in my opinion but um regardless i don't understand slayer they're looked at like gods and i don't get it i, I just don't get it and i never will I've i've tried once again i've tried to listen to them just can't and uh every single song sounds exactly the fucking same so say what you will hate me if you will i can take it but i've been wanting to make this video for a very long time and now i've made it and it's out there in youtube land for five or six people to see and but um I wanted to say this because I wanted to let people out there, if you do come across this video and you're one of those people like me who just cannot understand why 
these certain bands have this power over people that they do. And a lot of people may put Metallica on their overrated list. That's great. Do it. Talk to me about it. I'll explain to you why they are the greatest band in the world and what they mean to me. But the people that look at Slayer like they look at Metallica, I just want to know how what I hear Slayer do and what they've done makes you feel the way that like Master of Puppets makes me feel. What has Slayer done? What, is they, what have they said that you can decipher from the monotone yelling that Tom Araya does over and over again for 30 plus years? You know, explain to me why they are your favorite band. And I don't get it. I never will. But um, that's what is great about music. That's what's great about everything. That's what's great about metal. And once again, thank you to the troops on this Memorial Day fighting for my right to say fuck Slayer and fuck Led Zeppelin and fuck Tool and fuck A Perfect Circle and Nine Inch Nails and Five Finger Death Punch and U2 and Kiss and everybody that everybody just worships. And um, I just wanted to get out and put out some underrated bands, I thought, and, you know, see what happens. But uh, this is my opinion, and this has been Josh Sanders, and these are my most underrated bands and my most overrated bands. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Metal.